You think if someone told me about this story, I wouldn't believe it. But it happened to me. A Syrian man is stuck in an airport, unable to leave. For 133 days, Hassan al Kantar has been stranded at the Kuala Lumpur airport. The 36-year-old has taken to video blogging life inside the airport. Hello. As you can hear, I am uh, at the airport. Basically, uh, I refuse to join a fight where, where Syrians are killing their own Syrians. people. Now a volunteer group is trying to bring him to Canada. Hassan al Kantar is now in British Columbia, starting a new life. Canada has a private sponsorship program, which means five individual Canadians or permanent residents can come together and sponsor a refugee. Individuals are directly involved in saving lives. Working with Red Cross is a dream come true. It's my way to pay back to the community who accepted me among them and gave me a chance and uh, uh, my way to show the Canadian people that they were not wrong in giving me such a chance. I'm afraid of uh, forgetting things. I sit every day and just think about Syria, my farm, my parents, my siblings. I did not see them for 12 years now. I don't want to lose the connection. I don't want to lose the faces, the sounds, the voices, the memories. That's why I like uh, the coffee smell. It reminds me of home. It's my destiny and refugees' destiny to live between two worlds. No matter where you are living, you are going to miss the other one. Would you like to bet that my mother is going to ask me about if I met someone or not? <laughs> It kills me how I sometimes uh, video call her and see that she is getting older and I'm missing that. Even my nephew who is now uh, 11 years old, I met him once when he was uh, three months old. Uh, my niece, I did not meet her yet. Uh, my sister-in-law, I did not meet her yet in person. Allah kareem, I told you, I told you. She is going to speak about did I met someone or not. Uh, she just said. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 I thought that's the time to write my story because I want the Western to understand us more. To bring the gap closer between our, our two cultures. Now, what does it mean to be Syrian or to be hopeless, to be uh, powerless, voiceless? If given the chance to work, to contribute, to express ourselves, to be safe, to have a home, we will give back. It is every refugee's dream. It's my dream.